ClickUp CRM tutorial how to set up a simple CRM in ClickUp. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your simple CRM, which is a customer relationship management system on ClickUp. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you're going to have to create your ClickUp account and I already have a ClickUp account. So I'm just going to continue on from over here. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to click on over here and I'm going to create a new workspace and whatever kind of account you're creating, this is going to be your basic setup process. You're going to first off name your workspace. So I'm just going to name the CRM and then I'm going to click on next. So you can add your image that you want for your ClickUp account. So I'm just going to go with red and I'm going to continue on. And let's say I want two to five people in this team. And then you're going to enter the email addresses of your teammates. I'm just going to continue on over here. And I don't want to add any tasks or anything like that. And now I'm going to get started with ClickUp. Now, a very simple way to set up your ClickUp CRM is via a simple template. Now, what you're going to do is once you create your basic workspace, so this is like the entire workspace, I'm just going to click on new space and I'm going to click on templates. And then you're just going to continue on and you can just search for CRM. And now you can see you have sales and CRM and then you have other templates that you can browse as well. Whatever kind of template you're looking for, you probably can find it easily on ClickUp. And what you're just going to do is you're going to click on sales and CRM and we're just going to click on use template. And we're going to import this entire template as it is to show you guys how to get started with a template and how to customize your template according to yourself. So we're just going to continue on and we're waiting for our template to be loaded on to our ClickUp menu. Now you can see over here our ClickUp workspace has been loaded. So in our workspace, this is our new board. And you can see on your left, you have your navigation panel where you have your everything section. So your entire workspace, everything that is present in it will be shown in the everything section. Then you have different spaces that you can create within a certain uh, workspace. So I'm going to delete this empty space over here. And I'm just going to type in the name because whenever you have to delete a space, you just have to type in the name. And now we can see the sales pipeline is the basic CRM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on over here and let's say I'm going to pipeline management. So you can see this is a simple kind of setup over here where they have new leads, they have their pipeline, they have their sales representative closed, they have proposals, demos, qualified prospect. And then on your horizontal access, you have your due dates, account size, opportunities, contacts, next steps. So these are all grouped by status and you can click on schedule over here to see the due dates of everything. And then you can also click on view, you can click on board, and then you can add a board view to fit all of your schedules as well. So this will also give you a visual look at the overall CRM stage. So made contact, lost contact, no response. So you can see in this, you will easily get a visual aspect into how to set up your own CRM. So this is how you have your template. Now to get started with my template, what I can do is I can go into new leads or maybe I can go into the pipeline section and then you can delete the pre-created tasks over here and begin adding your own. I wouldn't recommend this. I recommend using a template and once you have a good know-how what you can do is you can click on new space and then I would just name this CRM sample and I'm just going to create this workspace and I'm going to add these basic features and I'm going to only add a list and board view and also a calendar view and I'm going to click on create space. So within the CRM workspace, I'm creating the CRM sample and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So first off you have your list. So you're gonna click on create new, new list and we're going to add uh, potential contacts. And then I'm going to add the second list which is going to be approved contacts. Uh, then I have negotiation. Then I can also add another stage, maybe uh, after the approved contact, I may have negotiation or maybe I have uh, rejected, accepted, and then um, re-evaluation. So you're just going to add all of your basic sections of your customer relationship management. So whatever kind of business you're running, this is like a business behind the scenes of the business. So this is how it's working. If you want to use this as your customer support service, you can also do that. So for that, you can manage your ticketing over here as well. But I'm just going to add this list over here. 
and we're just adding all of these lists so all of these are, are going to be created within my uh, CRM sample so you can see I have this a simple section now and now what I can do is I can start adding different tasks into each of my lists so what I'm going to do is I can go into reevaluation and then maybe I could add um, textile supplier cost and then this can be added into our to-do list on our re-evaluation section. Then you also have your accepted section, you have the approved contact section, and you can do this in this manner where I have separated these lists all together if it's a larger business. But if you want to create a simple one-page look, then what you can do is that instead of doing this, I'm just going to go back into the list section, and I'm going to uh, group this by statuses and add different statuses instead of creating different lists. So Instead of the list, I can just add a status name, which could be contacts. And I'm just going to create a simple list setup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the board view. So I'm going to continue on. And I'm going to first off delete or edit this one. And I'm just going to remove this status or rename it. And I'm going to add potential contacts, then contacts. And then the end would be approved. What we're going to do is we're going to add all the closed statuses in the uh, completed section. So we're going to rename this as to approved, or you can just leave it at completed. Then I'm going to add another status called um, negotiation, and I'm going to use this. Then I'm going to add approved or, or maybe dealing, and then we're going to add another color, and then we can add rejected, and then we're going to add another color. And I think these statuses are enough, so I'm just going to click on save over here. And now instead of having like multiple lists in different sections of ClickUp, you can just have one larger page where you can manage your entire CRM. So from here, I can click on new task and let's say I have a potential client for um, supplier. I'm just going to name it supplier. So whatever this supplier is, like once I have a potential supplier in my CRM board, what I can do is once my supplier is maybe instead of potential contact, this is approved. What I can do is I can just click on this and I can click on the next button over here. Then this would be added into the contact list. Now, maybe once I am in contact with this person, I can move them into the negotiation phase. And then once I'm dealing with them, I can go into the dealing phase. And if they are rejected or approved, I can either move them into those two sections. So another great thing with click up is that if you have a task like this so contacting the supplier negotiating whatever it could be assigned to someone so for that you just have to click on over here and you can assign this to someone and then you also have priorities so you can set different priorities and you can create your own priorities as well as well as adding subtasks so maybe with the supplier you have to uh, set budget contact um, you have to maybe uh, limit uh, travel expenses or whatever kind of mini tasks within the larger tasks are you can add them over here as well and then you can also create a due date so you can click on this and then you can set a due date so this is due for june and then with any kind of task you can create automations as well on the top right over here and you can add any automation so whenever a task is not completed within the due date it would automatically be moved into the rejected section so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to set up your own ClickUp CRM as well. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions regarding ClickUp in general, make sure to ask me and I will make sure to answer them. And I will catch you guys in the next video.